Hey what's up guys, it's Phil here from Aspire Fitness. Welcome to this video series. So what we do in this series, we take some of your favorite foods and turn them into some macro friendly options. So today we got an awesome protein souffle pancake recipe for you guys. It's gonna be awesome and we're gonna be learning how to change the macros from this to this. So let's get into it guys. So we got a really fun recipe today. It's gonna to be protein souffle pancakes. I managed to fit around 30 grams of protein into these. And um, you know, you can't really find any souffle pancakes online that have protein in it. So this is gonna be kind of the first. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I hope you guys learned something from this video and try this out yourselves. So let's start off with the ingredients. It's kind of like a unique mix of ingredients. So let's follow along. We got one cup of fat-free milk here, or three-fourths of a cup is fine too. We got this monk fruit sweetener, about one tablespoon is fine. This stuff is really good, we use it in almost every video. One tablespoon of butter. We got one egg here, separating the eggs and the egg whites. Uh, we got baking powder and baking soda to help it rise. And we got this stuff, it's Birch Bender's Pancake Mix. It has 16 grams of protein. And lastly, we're gonna have this ring mold to kind of get that shape in, to kind of form it into that souffle pancake. So first things first, let's get an egg and separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Um, I always have a hard time doing this. I always get the egg white or the egg yolk into the egg whites, but this time I actually managed to you know, separate them very successfully. So uh, keep that egg yolk, we're gonna be using it for later and uh, we're gonna whisk up these egg whites right now. So I like to think of this step as earning my food. Uh, I get to, you know, really whisk these eggs with the with a whisk and make them into stiff peaks. Um, you know, I kind of low key like this step because it makes me feel like I'm, you know, utilizing more calories in the day and I'm expending more energy so I can kind of earn my food. And so you want to just go in like a left and right kind of formation. I feel like that works the best. And eventually you can kind of see like the stiff peaks form. Uh, you'll you can see it in about like 20 seconds or so here. Um, you know. When you become a personal trainer or a diet coach here in California, you kind of have to learn about something called NEAT, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And it's just kind of the amount of calories you burn by doing activities like this, like whisking an egg white, right? So it, it probably doesn't do much for the amount of calories that burn in a day, but I like to feel like it does. And yeah, you just want to stop till it gets to this point right here where you can kind of see like the little peaks kind of stand up on its own. So now with that other egg yolk in the mix, we're gonna put around two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener here. Uh, we actually, we said one in the beginning, but two tablespoons is actually the best. This provided that little sweetness without any extra carbs. And we're gonna add around one tablespoon of butter. We try this without any butter, but you know, we need some fat in here, unfortunately, or it just kind of becomes like this kind of puck. And we don't really want that, especially when we use this, which is fat-free milk. There's no fat in here when you usually would use buttermilk. So um, some butter is required for this recipe, guys. But yeah, just whisk it up now and then just kind of get to this consistency and you're good to go. So up next, we got that magic Birch Benders protein pancake mix. I don't know what they put in here, but they got somehow they have less carbs and they have 16 16 grams of protein in here. I think that's really amazing for any kind of protein batter that you can have. And that's really the secret to make these into protein souffle pancakes rather than just normal souffle pancakes. Because if we just use flour, then there would be a ton of carbs in here without any extra protein. And yeah, we ended up using around one cup, which was around half the bag, um, honestly, but you can just kind of eye this. You can want to go for like a thick batter. Even right now, it's a little too uh, loose and kind of liquidy. So just make it a little thicker than this and then just kind of pour it in and you'll be good to go. So up next, we're just going to be using around half a tablespoon of baking powder. This stuff is pretty bitter, so don't add too much. You're going to be tempted to use a lot because it helps it rise and can become really fluffy. And up next, we got just around half a teaspoon of baking soda. This stuff is really bitter as well, so make sure you only use a little bit. So this is probably the most important part of the entire process. If there's one part you don't want to screw up, it's definitely this part and it's adding, adding the egg whites in. So what I'm doing here is I'm very slowly and meticulously just kind of dropping it in one batch at a time, two batches total, right? And I'm just kind of going to mix it in. This uh, footage is sped up to 300%. So try to go three times slower than this because that's how slow I went in real life. I just didn't want you guys to see this for like three minutes of just me just folding egg whites in. But yeah, what I'm doing here very slowly is I'm just kind of mixing it in and just going until I can't see the egg whites anymore. And what this is gonna do is gonna help it really just kind of retain its uh, fluffiness and it's not gonna be like a brick when you're done cooking it. 
So now it's time for the fun part. We're just going to be buttering up the pan with this nonstick spray and we're going to put that ring mold down and also we're going to butter that as well. And this is where kind of the fruits of your labor kind of show and we're going to kind of see that classic souffle pancake shape. So this was actually our first batch and we made a big mistake here. So what we did in the mistake number one was that we put way too much batter in here. Uh, we didn't account for how much baking powder baking soda and the egg whites can really expand this pancake so it ended up really overflowing as it kind of cooked it became this big balloon because it was so fluffy but that's a good thing right because we want it to be that fluffy when we cook it just put less of the batter in like this so we were being overly ambitious and uh, you know the pancake rose like crazy and expanded like crazy so right now you can kind of see what happened and this shot still pains me to this day. Um, this was like our third try. So we really wanted to get this done. We almost gave up on this recipe because we used a different batter. But um, two mistakes here, we overfilled the pan so it kind of became that big balloon. Second mistake here is that we didn't cook it long enough because we had to figure out our own cook time because we couldn't really follow a recipe because we used a very different batter for this, right? So don't make this mistake and we got the next or the correct cook time up in the next, next part of this. And so now I just fill it maybe one half of the way, two, three fourths of the way. And that was the perfect amount for us. This is finally the time we got it right. Just right there is the perfect amount. You can just stop right there. And now this is going to be on low to medium heat. And we're just going to be cooking it over for around eight minutes. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we do one simple step is we're going to be around the pancake. We just want to do one at a time because it takes these are really thick pancakes. You just want to put some hot water to kind of just steam and just close it with the pan as soon as it steams and just put this over low to medium heat and you want to go for eight to nine minutes here eight to nine minutes was the perfect cook time uh, anything over that it kind of becomes really thick and like a brick so now after trying this out like 15,000 times we uh, finally got it and we just kind of want to flip it right here and beautiful you get this beautiful brown crust crust on the bottom of it and it just kind of slides down to the other side and just cook this for an additional one minute just to kind of get it you know uh, with a similar crust just like this on the other side and uh, what you get here is a really nice awesome fluffy pancake uh, it has 30 grams of protein in here and it's, and it's pretty amazing guys so um, just kind of take it off the pan right now and then just kind of shimmy off the little ring mold and yeah you got this really beautiful really symmetrical looking souffle pancake and um, yeah you can't really beat this guys so just do that for another pancake. You just wanna put one pancake into one pan so that you can easily let it steam. Don't be ambitious and try to go for two. It's not gonna really work out from what we found. And yeah, just kind of put some berries into this. It goes really well with the sweetness of the pancakes. And uh, if you wanna put some syrup on it, try to use some sugar-free syrup so that it's just zero calories straight on top. You get that same sweetness and it goes really well with the acidity of those berries. So yeah, that is really it for the recipe, guys. Uh, really awesome recipe. 30 grams of protein in here. I can't really get over that. And um, for what you get, this is pretty amazing. If you want to know more about the nutrition facts, make sure to check out our website, aspirefitnessmalnut.com slash blog, where we kind of go over where this came from and uh, everything you need to know about the nutrition. So um, also, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.